Welcome to day 14 of the Kickstart You're Running in 21 Days project. Really hope you, uh, you've enjoyed the, uh, the previous day so far and uh, look forward to working with you on this one. This one is all about how to excel, yeah, which I think is something that we would all like to, um, to achieve and, uh, um, and aspire to. There's a great quote that I love from sports psychologist Terry Orlick. He said, you will never live your potential in anything if you don't embrace the power of your mind. And we can learn so much from elite athletes and great performers that have uh, gone before us and uh, already walked this path or perhaps uh, run this path in this case. And what we've learned is that great performers, because they've embraced and learned to, uh, to use the power of their minds, that they've benefited from this and that's helped them get to where they want to be. And so for, for you to excel, I encourage you to follow the same kind of thinking that the great ones that have gone before us have used to excel themselves. Perhaps the greatest lesson is what you can learn as an athlete to help learn uh, to develop and focus your mind. When your dreams are driven by passion and guided by directed, focused action, you become empowered to turn exciting possibilities into positive new realities. To excel as an athlete takes a lot of mental training. To do the things we really want to do and to enjoy simple, simple things, simple joys on the way, then it makes sense to focus on what is in our control. There are three research steps that you can take to empower those things that you can bring under your control. So I'm going to share those three things with you now. And the first is positive visions. So as we've already covered, then everything starts with a dream. And it's so important to use the power of the imagination that sits between our ears. And uh, um, yeah, it's a hugely powerful tool that we don't often use in a positive and directed way. And your dream is your vision, a positive destination that is waiting for you to move towards it. So it starts with a dream, and then the next key step is positive planning. When you set out with a positive plan in mind, then it's much more likely that you'll arrive at a positive destination. If you're trying to get to a positive destination and your planning is uh, kind of screwed up, then it's, uh, it's highly unlikely that you're gonna reach the positive destination that you actually set out for. Your plans should include short-term and mini goals so that you have a really a roadmap so that you, you know what your map is, how you're gonna to get to your positive destination. And with this roadmap, then you have a mechanism so that you can check your progress and also review as you move through the process towards your goal. And the third is positive action. To excel, you need to be able to tap into persistent positive actions. Guided by your positive action plan, then you're gonna be inevitably moving towards excellence. And through respect for your own wisdom and the wisdoms of those that have gone before you and hopefully you've learned from, then your actions will help you stay on track and also help you enjoy your journey. And of course, the journey is the most important thing. So we've already been looking at positive visions. And so today's activity is gonna be focused on the positive planning. Yeah, so the next step in those three stage process. So I'd like you to think of a, a goal, so again, something that's important to you. Uh, maybe the goal from yesterday's session, perhaps. And then once you have this goal in mind, then hold that thought as you prepare now to get relaxed. 
So as usual, make sure you're in a situation you know you're not going to be disturbed, uh, your phone ring is turned off, and just pick a, a chair or a sofa or maybe a space on the floor or on your bed and just settle in now so as you prepare to get relaxed. And then once you're ready and comfortable hopefully, then uh, we're going to start by taking three deep breaths as we usually do. So And then let your breathing return to normal. And as you do that, then also allow your eyes to gently close. And then bring your focus to your breathing. So count each in-breath as one, each out-breath as one. Count up to 10 and then start over again and cycle through that four or five times now. And now bring the goal that you thought of earlier into your imagination. And make sure your visual is as clear and bright as you can make it. And make sure to be aware of all of your senses as you're using your imagination here. And now think of how you would normally, how you would usually plan for this goal. And so just think of the process you would use. Of, would you establish any, any uh, short-term or mini goals? And just notice how this process feels to you. Does it feel very natural? Does it have flow? And, and also notice how, how you emotionally feel as you go through, <clears throat> go through this process. And yeah, just be aware of everything that's happening as you're thinking about planning for this goal. Now imagine that you're planning for this goal, but now use a completely positive perspective. And in this planning, you will leave no stone unturned. Every piece will be meticulously planned, meticulously organized, and will be, every piece will be a part of a bigger positive picture that will inevitably lead to your positive destination your goal and spend a moment thinking of the short term and mini goals that you would use that will help you progress uh, to your positive goal your positive destination and think about incorporating those short term and mini goals and how they would fit in and how they would inter how they would interact and flow with your destination your positive goal. And now see yourself completing all these short term and mini goals on the way to your positive destination. And just notice how good this feels to know that you have a mechanism, a way of checking to make sure you're on track. You're not venturing into the unknown, you're on plan. And notice also how you are a part of this process. It's not something external that's happening to you. It's actually part of a natural thing, a natural flow that happens. And so this positive destination that you're moving towards is something that's a part of you. And just give yourself a moment or two to think and notice how good this feels.
And notice when you achieve flow, just like we do in running, how effortless this feels. This takes planning, but this planning is effortless. And then bring yourself back to the present moment. And so we're gonna take firstly three, three big deep breaths again. you're ready just gently open your eyes again and take a take a stretch and welcome yourself ooh, back into the room okay congratulations on completing day 14 I uh, really hope you enjoyed that and uh, um, it made sense in terms of how to learn from elite athletes and uh, other amazing competitors that uh, um, have helped teach us what it's like to excel, yeah, and how important the mind is in that process. Thank you for your positive comments on our Facebook page, and uh, really appreciate your feedback there, and uh, would love for you to uh, keep those coming. So remember to make any notes from today's session, today's activity that, uh, uh, that made sense to you and that fit in with, uh, um, with the bigger picture that you're building of, uh, uh, of yourself as, a, as an athlete. We look forward to seeing you for day 15 and uh, keep up the progress. You're doing a great job. Thank you so much.